It's 6.45 in the morning. I have Delta Dawn and we're headed to the emergency bed. I just got a phone call that um, Laura's on her way to get Bobby Joe and I have been having to hand feed Delta Dawn for the past two days, um, syringe feed her. Uh, she has not gotten any better from the so-called urinary tract infection, which I do believe she had, but she has not gotten any better. I'm sorry my dog's screaming in the background. I have some spoiled animals. So I've been having to syringe feed her the past two days because she hasn't been using the bathroom at all. Come on, baby. There you go. Come on. There you go. So she's doing good. But she's not eating at all. I have tried every kind of fruit, vegetable, changed her feed. Nothing has been working. So I've noticed that she has pumped up ever since I started syringe feeding her, she, her energy has increased. So I'm going to continue to do this until she goes to the vet tomorrow. Get on this off you. Because you know rabbits you can't give a bath to. <clears throat> They're like cats. So I don't want it to, with this formula, it could stink. It's okay. Once she starts feeling better, I'll shear her and get all that yucky off of her. It's okay, babe. We gonna get you feeling better. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Her stomach feels full. Um which is a good thing because it hasn't felt full in a while. So, fingers crossed we can find out what it is tomorrow. All weekend, I have been having to syringe feed Delta Dawn. Um, I did get her to eat maybe a fourth of a carrot on Friday. So I thought she was getting better. This is day seven or eight of antibiotics. She has no more blood in her urine. So her urinary tract infection has cleared up, but something's not right. I literally have had to go get critical care uh, from a friend of mine. It's a rabbit men mentor of mine. And I have been having to spoon feed her and syringe feed her all weekend long. So I don't know what's going on. So we're headed to the bed. And once again, <clears throat> I'm in a hurry because I have to leave my house at 10 o'clock to take my dad to radiation. So I, once again, I'm having to really uh, practice balance and learn how to take care of the animals and do the farm on top of taking care of my dad. But luckily, my dad doesn't have to leave till 10 o'clock and it's almost seven. The vet opens at seven, so I'm gonna make sure that I'm the first in line. The 
this weekend, my dad started getting sick from the radiation. He's been having uh, stomach issues and um, just not feeling well, uh, which is, you know, normal for radiation. They did tell us that once he's reached a certain limit that he's going to start having side effects from the radiation. So, it wasn't the most pleasant weekend with him because he was having to run back and forth to the bathroom and um, it's just it's just so sad to watch the side effects of radiation but I know that's what's going to save his life and it has to be done. Guess what? I thought the vet opened at 7. The vet doesn't open till 8. And it's a little after 7 right now. So I gotta sit here for an hour and wait on the vet. She's in the hospital. So they're going to keep her and run some tests. Give her an IV and see what's up. And he's supposed to call me today. So be in prayer for sweet Delta Dawn. All right, now that Delta Dawn's in the hospital, now it's time to go home and do my farm chores and let the chickens out and the animals out and then go look halfway decent to take my dad's radiation. You know, during the winter months, you can't really get in a hurry to do farm chores. And the reason is because everything is frozen. So I'm trying to pace myself because I've got to get everything done to leave here by 10 o'clock. So I just need to go around to all the waters, make sure, okay, there's water in there. There's all my babies eating their breakfast this morning. Um, and I need to go check on the pigeons. I saw that the pigeons needed feed, so I need to make sure they've got fresh feed and water and then go check on the big animals. Got my pigeon feed. It was freezing this morning, but it has warmed up and the sun feels good. So I know that the animals will be, will be all like feeling great because of the warmth of the sun. So I know that they'll have a great day for Kayla. Y'all see why I'm called the crazy chicken lady? And this ain't even all of them. <laughs> this ain't even all of them. No, it's not even all of them. <laughs> oh my goodness, it makes me laugh so hard. Don't you just love them? All the different breeds. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Mama brought you some fresh food. I got to get them a new feeder. But they're enjoying their Isn't that sweet. <laughs> Y'all eating your breakfast? Hmm? Y'all be good for Kayla today, okay? Be on your best behavior. This little girl right here, my pheasant, has gotten really tame. She really likes me, has been coming up to me. So I think that I'm gonna be able to really tame her. I've been trying to let them get used to their atmosphere and their new home, but we're almost there. Isn't she pretty? My boy over here, he paces a lot, but I called the previous owner and she told me that's actually normal for them. So, 
just seems like he's unsettled to me, but she said they always do that. Hers do it too. Hmm. I thought about getting him some toys to see if that will help him. See, he looks like he wants out. I don't like that. See how pretty he is? And his colors are going to change as he molds. He's gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. A lot of you asked about Ham. Ham has adjusted and really feels at home here. Um, sometimes he gets in fights with the boys, but for the most part, he's the most gentle rooster out here. And he seems to be really happy because he gets to free range every day and have lots of girlfriends. And he seems just really content and happy. Anytime I do a rescue, I don't always know the background of them, you know? So I have no idea where he came from, why he was dumped off. You know, like, can you imagine being dumped off in the city where there's nobody like you? Just dumped. And this sweet lady said, I'm going to give him a chance at life. And she found me on Facebook and called me. So, you don't always know what goes on in a rescue's life. But I do know this. I know that I've made a difference in his life. I do want to say thank you to all the people that have donated to my farm. Because of you, I'm able to continue to do what I do. Uh, being a nonprofit farm can be difficult, especially when it comes to vet bills or rabbits being in the hospital or things like that. And I'm really thankful for all the sponsors that we have on our uh, farm that believe in what I'm doing and continue to support me and um, continue to build me up and help me to continue to do what I'm doing. I have to admit, it sure is quiet without Bobby, Joe, and Cinco. It feels like I'm in a different farm. It's going to take me some getting used to, for sure. It was nice not having to wrestle Bobby Joe, uh, but I miss him. My buddy here has a hurt foot. He was out playing with a tater bug, and he twisted his ankle, I believe. I don't see anything wrong with his foot, so I think it's just a twist. So he's going to stay in here and chomp on some hay and be by himself so that he can recover. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? It's a beautiful day to be out and playing and getting along. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> hey, pretty boy. Oh, goodness. Oh, Tabla. Tabla is going to come see her mama. His mama. There's old Georgia Lee. All right, guys, I got to take Papa to radiation. I need you to all be on your best behavior for Kayla, including you, Rogue, including you. Leroy's taking conduct checks. He'll let me know if somebody misbehaves. Taking my sweet hound dog some hay. You know what's so funny is I find myself trying to do everything so that Kayla doesn't have to do much. And I keep going, I mean, not that I want her to do much, but but I just feel bad to leave her with everything. So I find myself running around here and making sure everything's done. And then I'm thinking, Kayla probably wants something to do when she comes here, Judy. You probably should let Kayla do some of the work and you not try to take a rabbit to the hospital, do animals and take your dad to radiation. Like, the whole purpose of Kayla helping you is for her to help you. And I forget that, which is weird to me. <laughs> I'm covered. I'm covered in hay. So you know those people at radiation think I'm a weirdo. I go in there with hay and overalls, my hair a mess. They probably think, what does she do for a living? We made it to radiation with him driving. 
it all went well. And I was like, wait a minute, you know how to drive here? I'm like, why am I doing this? <laughs> why am I hiring Kayla to come to my farm? And like, what the heck? But I've learned a lot today about this. I've learned a lot and I will talk to you guys about it on live. All right. The reason he was driving is because I have got terrible sciatic, how you say that word, sciatica pain, and it is killing me to drive. So I asked him to drive and he did great. I, like he drove without even really asking me a lot of questions, which is puzzling to me. Uh, but anyway, uh, we made it here and sitting here waiting on him. Number seven in the books. You feel it burning? Oh, is that the first time you felt it burning? No. Oh, gotcha. Here at the vet, Nick's gonna talk to the doctor about Delta Dome. Look who's coming home from the hospital. He's my baby. See, I'm coming home from the hospital. She looks terrible. <laughs> She's getting a spanking. Okay, do you know what the vet said about you? He told me this was a behavioral problem. I mean, she did have a urinary tract infection, but he thinks that she has a behavioral problem. Why are all my animals having behavioral problems? Like, what the heck? You, Bobby Joe, like what's wrong with you? Delta Dome, you been, come on. I'm gonna let her ride in my lap. Okay, this may seem really cr- Ooh, a bell fell. <laughs> I'm not starting it over. That's what I almost did. Okay, look, this may seem crazy to a non-farm person, but when I first got chickens and I learned that they laid all different colored eggs, I was like, I need ones that lay blue. I need ones that lay green and ones that lay white and pink and all these different colors, brown and chocolate. I am so excited because I have never had eggs army green. Y'all, look at this. Okay, I know they're dirty, so I probably should wash them. I'll wash them when we get inside, but I have army green eggs. All right, guys, I'm at the water fountain, <laughs> and I can't wait to get inside to see what these legs look like clean. So we're fixing to wash them. These chickens that laid these eggs are called olive eggers. That is the name of the chicken, okay? Oh, you are gonna die when you see these. Okay, I know I'm a chicken person. I get really excited. Wait, you can't, you can't really see them. I need to bring you up close and personal. It doesn't take much to get me excited, but look, I don't know, here. I don't know if you can tell, but they're olive eggers and they're spotted. It is my lucky day. Oh my God. Are these not the most gorgeous eggs you've ever seen in your entire life? I'm just saying, and they're my chickens. I'm excited. Okay, I've collected eggs, and these are the colors that I have collected today. I'm very, very proud of these colors. The light green is not here yet. She's not laying, which is Margaret and Debbie. They both lay the light green, but I can't. You're going to be so. Help, help, help. <laughs> to believe in the words that you say. 